Bulk flow plays an important role in regulating the relative volumes of blood and interstitial fluid. It does this by balancing specific pressures. Bulk flow is given two names, depending on the direction of movement. There are four factors that determine the net direction of capillary exchange. Blood hydrostatic pressure, generated by the pumping of the heart, promotes filtration by pushing fluid out of the capillary. Blood colloid osmotic pressure is caused by the colloidal suspension of plasma proteins that are too large to pass through fenestrations or gaps between endothelial cells. This pressure acts as if it pulls fluid into the capillary and promotes reabsorption. Blood hydrostatic pressure combines with interstitial fluid osmotic pressure, the slight pull of fluids towards the interstitium, to promote filtration. In opposition, blood colloid osmotic pressure and interstitial fluid hydrostatic pressure, which is near zero under normal conditions, promote reabsorption. The balance of the filtration and reabsorption forces, called net filtration pressure, determines whether blood volume remains steady or changes. At the arterial end of the capillary, filtration pressures are stronger by 10 millimeters of mercury. At the venous end, reabsorption pressures are stronger by 9 millimeters of mercury. As these typical pressures illustrate, about 90% of the fluid volume that is filtered out of the capillary is reabsorbed. The remainder drains into lymphatic capillaries to form lymph. An abnormal buildup of interstitial fluid results in swelling, known as edema. Edema is a symptom of increased blood hydrostatic pressure, or capillary permeability, decreased blood colloid osmotic pressure, or a problem with normal lymphatic drainage. Blood moves through vessels at a rate that is inversely related to total cross-sectional area. For example, capillaries, when all of them are added together, have a higher cross-sectional area than arteries and veins. Therefore, blood flows more slowly through capillaries. Slower blood velocity in the capillaries allows more time for the exchange of materials. Arteries and veins have lower total cross-sectional areas, so blood velocity is greater. Blood velocity slows as blood travels away from the heart and increases as blood leaves capillaries and returns to the heart.